Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, if you live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and have a business that has anything to do with tourism, whether it's a running a hotel or a restaurant or um, or conducting sightseeing tours or anything like that, your business just took a big hit, courtesy of the Republicans who run the state. Next year's NBA All-Star Game is being moved out of Charlotte and that's going to cost the economy somewhere between a hundred million and a hundred and fifty million dollars. This decision was made because North Carolina recently passed an anti-transgender -trans law also known as the bathroom law uh, and is another example of so-called small government Republicans expanding the government's reach to places where it really doesn't belong. And it has created some very uncomfortable encounters in the state in which people who are obviously men are forced to use the ladies room and vice versa. So now it's going to have a significant economic impact on the state and they deserve it. The NBA has been very progressive in speaking up for the LBGT community uh, and they were the first major sports league to have an openly gay player. And they are to be commended for that. But recently several WNBA players were fined for wearing t-shirts during warm-ups that protested violence by the police but also against the police and the WNBA claimed that it violated uniform standards but there is no written standard as to what players are supposed to wear uh, during warm-ups uh, and last season the uh, uh, many of the male players wore t-shirts protesting uh, uh, violence also, uh, including uh, wearing t-shirts that said, I can't breathe, and, uh, and also justice for Tamir Rice. And the NBA took no steps against them. So here it is, 2016, and there appears to be a double standard between what the men can do and what the women can do and that has no place in today's society. Now just today the NBA uh, rescinded those fines and they're not going to fine the women anymore which is a, a good step but I think the executives at the uh, NBA need to have a meeting and get their shit together so they're not put in a position of looking like uh, what would I say sexist assholes Thanks for listening.